Blocking people right after they become your friend on social media, is it acceptable? Hi, I'm Rob Onsbach. Come join me as I share with you this interesting information about social media and about friends. You know, in real life, you know, our friends come and go. And usually, when we have a friend, they don't come up to us and say, Hey, Rob, you want to buy my product? You want to you wanna take a test drive? You want to... And, and they just, they don't do that. They're friends with you. They shake your hands. They have a conversation. They go to the movies. It's all about winning over your trust and friendship. But on social media, it's a little different. You know, the other day, I'll cite an example. I accepted a friend on LinkedIn. And about 10 minutes later, I get an email saying, Hey, I subscribed to my newsletter. I thought you'd, uh, you know, really like it. We just became friends on LinkedIn. What? No. Just because I friend request you or accept your friend doesn't mean I want marketing or anything else from you, at least not until I get to know you. You know, I have a, I have a group page on Facebook called The Business Dojo. And, you know, I, I put a lot of time and effort into that page, helping people understand the dynamics of being a better entrepreneur. And a lot of it is quotes or memes, you know, motivational stuff. And, you know, I get requests every single day from people wanting to join the group. And I have to look at them very carefully. And I don't accept everyone to this group because I've dif discovered that certain people, when they join a group, all they want to do is spam, spam, spam. They want to put their marketing message out there, their specials or their links or their PDFs or their special reports. That's not how you win trust. And I usually go about and I warn them. They do it again, I delete and block them. So, yes, you can delete and block friends. Is it acceptable? Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. Is that if you don't monitor who those people are, they will continue to do so. They will continue to hit you up with their marketing message. And... Sometimes you just have to delete them because they're not really a good fit for you or for anyone else that's following you. The other day um, on Snapchat, uh, somebody new requested a friendship, you know, to follow me. And I thought, okay, well, it's Snapchat, it's new, I need followers. And I guess they didn't like what I posted and they flipped me the bird, or they sent me a picture of them flipping the bird. And I thought, really? What did I do that crossed the line? So I blocked them. You need to block that negativity off your channels, your, your LinkedIn's, your Snapchat's, your Twitter's, your Facebook, your group pages. You need to ensure that you have a safe not really a safe, but a relatively better experience using social media. You get enough negativity in the real world. Why do you want to harbor that in social media? Anyway, this is Rob Onspot. Hope you found this helpful. And yes, it is okay to defriend, delete, and block people on social media. If you've deleted, blocked, or, or unfriended people, leave me a comment. Let me know how you went about doing it. Talk to you later.